Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, June 21st, 10.39 a.m. It's Father's Day here in the U.S. and a few other parts around the world, too. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know, it's just, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the world is just so weird right now. Um, anyway, I started off the morning losing the back to one of my earrings um, on the floor somewhere in my bedroom as I was, um, to be honest and graphic, changing, taking my clothes off so I could get in the shower. Um, I couldn't find it. And rather than wandering around the bedroom naked, I just said, forget about it. I grabbed a spare earring back, went in the bathroom, went to go put it on and then hop in the shower, dropped it and then couldn't find that one either. So I went and got a third one took a shower, came out. The first one was right on the counter where I was standing trying to put it on. Not the first one, the second one. And then I grabbed that and put it away. And then I went to go get in the closet to grab some clothes to put on and stepped on the first one. And since this whole like pandemic apocalypse thing started, I've broken like six dishes in my house and cups combined. Um, if that's not a sign that changes a foot, I don't I don't know. It's just so weird. It is 7.05 a.m. Monday morning, June 22nd, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I am headed out to, I need my sunglasses. I'm headed out to the hospital um, to get my mammogram, which in itself is nerve wracking if you've 
followed my journey, you know what I'm that I freak out about mammograms every year. And if you are similarly like minded but haven't followed my channel, you know exactly what I mean. Anyway, and top it off this year, of course, we have the apocalypse. <laughs> and uh, the hospital I'm going to is a testing center and treatment facility for those affected by the virus. So, yeah, that's fun. Um, we do normally at the house take all precautions. Everybody who comes in the front door is going to spray their shoes with Lysol and wash their hands. And we really don't have anybody in the house who doesn't, one, need to be there, and two, we haven't already seen through this whole process. Um, when we go there, we do spray things down with Lysol, but I don't like go overboard with it or anything. And I don't like strip all my clothes off in the laundry room and wash everything the minute I come in the door. But today we will be doing all of those. No, I won't film it. <laughs> um, so yeah, because it's a testing center, because I'm nervous about coming in contact with a virus, and all of that stuff. So, um, and I'm leaving probably a few minutes earlier than I really need to leave because I'm not sure about getting into the hospital. Okay, I'm going to mask up and here we go. Okay, so as I suspected, it took longer to get into the hospital than it did to actually get the test done. So, yeah, that was a thing. Um, I, I won't know for a few days what the images say. Cross your fingers. Um, that's my anxiety about it doesn't usually let up until I get the results. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, um, I'm going to head home now and strip off and take a shower and have some more coffee and some breakfast. <sighs> Try to breathe. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So it's, I don't know, around, what time is it? 10, 19, 10. Yeah, 1019. So I think my pro process, process, project for today is going to be this over here. So this is the printer office supply area of my art room. And my husband's printer died a few months back and we've just been using my printer. And when it dies, um, we will just replace it and just use one shared printer, which is working fine for us. But what I need to do is I need to rearrange the supplies under the printer and next to the printer so that the uh, paper supply and shipping supplies make sense to more people than just me. I also need to take that pile, hold it, and that pile, and combine, oh wait, and that pile, and sort through it, get rid of what we don't need to keep, and organize what we do need to keep over there. Because that paper and stuff is from the husband's office. So, but anything that is print intended for a printer doesn't need to be over there. There's no printer. So yeah, that's my project for the day. <sighs> All right, I'll be back. Hey guys. All right, so we already have the mammography results from early this morning. It is still Monday. It's Monday afternoon. It's, I think, just after two o'clock or something around there. I already have the results already, and they're normal. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, and thank you, uh, Legacy um, Health and um, uh, the hospital and doctor system in Oregon. Everything uh, pretty much is online. You can get your test results very quickly. Um, they're very prompt. Unlike California, where I'd have to wait a week. If you got a call this quickly or a notification this quickly, it's because they found something wrong. So yay, so happy. Anyway. I rearranged everything over here. So fun fact, my husband has a bad back. He's got severe rheumatoid arthritis of the spine. And so I kind of wanted to make it so that most of the time when he's using the printer, he doesn't have to bend over to get paper. So all the labels and printer paper and cardstock are there on the top of the Ikea cart. The next shelf down is um, the small, you can see in the back, there's some small cards of photo paper and index cards. In the front is uh, more printer ink, the postal scale, and some tape. The very bottom is sort of random office supplies, including like scotch tape and paper for my pocket printer and stuff like that. And then over here, we have bubble, small bubble mailers and spare tape for packing, packaging, electronics, 
um, cables, the box of cables. I know, right? Um, the thank you cards and things. In the back is a, um, a slide scanner and some slides I found a few months back before the pandemic started. Of They say by high school graduation. So that's going to be a project that I'm going to try to scan them and maybe turn it into a video. I don't know. It depends on what I find on there. Um, and I did get a little scanner device for the slides for Christmas this last Christmas. So I just haven't done anything with it yet. So it's back there in the back of the yellow thing back there. We've got the postcards, the art postcards and post-it notes of which you get one minimum in every order um, when you place an order and then the cardboard mailers. So I think that's going to work really well. It's nice and sorted and there were a few things we needed to purge or get rid of that I don't yeah. When you're questioning why you had it and where it came from, it needs to go away. So I had some lunch. I got my results, yay. Um, <laughs> so now I'm going to work on that slow stitched uh, canvas piece uh, that I started yesterday that I was pulling threads out of. I'll put a picture of that here somewhere. And I also need to edit the vlog. So I better get to it. I'll be back. <laughs>
Hey guys, we are headed out for our evening walk before dinner. Um, yeah, it's 85 degrees out, it's a bit humid. I have my mask in case it's people -y, which it isn't right now. Um, I already have my mammogram results, they're normal. It's all good. Uh, of course, we are ending the day with a little bit of family drama on my side, but you know, it's the name of the game with my family, so what are you gonna do? And, uh, yeah, I think our cleaning lady is coming on Wednesday, so that's a little bit stressful because of coronavirus, but she's very safe. I trust her, and she takes all the precautions, so I'm not too concerned, and I appreciate her help keeping the house clean, so there's that. She does keep things clean. So she she keep does cool. such a good job. We love our Letty. Um, and at some point this week, we'll have to go to the grocery store again. So, you know, that's a thing, but in the meantime, I'm gonna stay at home and get some stuff, projects done, some stuff for Patreon, hopefully, and another video for my creative year. I'm hoping to get both of those done tomorrow, but we'll see. And uh, made myself a project list. Haven't done that since the coronavirus started, so maybe it'll help me, keep me focused. Anyway, that's it for the moment. We're gonna go walking, I'll be back. Hey guys, I don't think I've vlogged today. I have been filming again with my phone, but I don't think I've vlogged at all. Um, I filmed three videos for YouTube with my phone. I don't know what the deal is with that since this whole thing started, the pandemic thing. Um, but I'm enjoying not having to get out the big camera, to be honest. Um, we filmed a few painting videos this morning. In fact, we have a 30 day challenge coming up. There's a hint. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, some of the content is filmed in such a way that I can create unique content for the patrons over on Patreon. They get more chatting and instruction from me than you all are gonna get here on YouTube, sorry. Um, <laughs> at least right away. I might release the talking versions at some point on YouTube, but at least right away. Um, so if you want to hear those or see content before it goes live on YouTube, you need to be in Patreon. Uh, what else? I filmed the July challenge for my creative year. So that's done. Now I've got to, I've got to go to the bank. I keep forgetting. I've had this check from a friend since May 25th is the date on the check. Um, he sent me some money to make him and his family some masks, which was great. Thank you, Andy. Um, I would have done it anyway, but thank you. Um, anyway, uh, but I've never cashed the check. So, yeah, so I'm going to go to my bank has a drive through thankfully, so I can stay safe and all of that. So I'm going to go do that. I have a mask in the car. I'm going to use the opportunity to be out to go run and get, um, couple things at the grocery store that we just forgot we're completely out of and I don't know why we didn't have it on the list like subconsciously we just I don't know what the deal was so I'm gonna go grab those I might go grab some thread real quick at Joanne's and um, then come home I'm not gonna go too many places because you know hello COVID-19 okay I spent the last I don't know a few hours chatting with friends ra rather than finishing the crackers which I have to finish I gotta get the dough out of the fridge um, and I did, but I did prep some fabric pieces for a couple of upcoming videos that have to do with um, embroidery, mixed media, stamping, stenciling, and all of the above. Stay tuned. Anyways, um, and I have um, 
some more ideas of other things I need to do this week. So I do have my to-do list. I'm able to cross a lot of stuff off. Uh, first thing I'm going to try to do tomorrow, well, maybe not tomorrow, maybe Thursday, is I'm going to try to film this week. I want to film five of the videos for painting a day for 30 days. I'm filming them ahead so that I can um, maybe do them as, a, as premiere videos every day and I'll be like in the chat with you all as you're watching. So anyway, um, I think that's it for the moment. I'm gonna gather some laundry and start some laundry and then make my crackers and I will be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, June 24th, 8.22 a.m. Don't get excited, hello computer. <laughs> checking you on YouTube and having my breakfast um, cleaning off the table a little bit straightening things making piles my ironing boards now covered with project piles <laughs> okay so I got the first two videos for the 30 paintings and 30 days challenge um, edited and they're loading to YouTube and scheduling out right now. I am going to try to film most of them ahead. I am sort of toy toying with the idea of doing the very last one live. I'm not sure, but let me know what y'all think about that. I might do one or two slow stitch lives too in July sometime. Uh, I don't have anything set in stone or scheduled out yet, so you guys let me know what you think. Um, I also got the July challenge video filmed and loading for my creative year and the last tutorial for my creative year for July, uh, June filmed and loading. So there's six videos all together. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to try to get all the 30 day paintings or at least most of them done sometime between now and this time next week. So it's going to be interesting and very busy. So we'll see what I am headed out for an evening walk by myself, first time in a while. But definitely since this whole COVID-19 thing started. Bob is at the gym. He's taking all precautions, but I don't feel comfortable doing that yet. So I'm going to go walking instead. It is kind of late. We haven't had dinner yet, but it's all right. It's all good. Um, we're going to end up with a late dinner, but that's fine. And I've got a bunch of video loading to YouTube and yeah, I'll be scheduling posts after that's done and yeah, it's all good. I'm going to listen to some music and go for a walk and I'll be- Hey back. guys, it's after two o'clock. I don't think I've vlogged at all today. I went right away this morning upstairs and started working on the 30 paintings in 30 days project and getting that all straightened out which was uh, it's for the next few days or a week or so, it's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm gonna get it done. I'm doing it in a much shorter amount of time than hopefully you all are gonna be doing it. But anyways, um, we also had my dad who came uh, to pick his car up, which was here and a couple of other things. And we had to do it while being socially distant because he's been traveling and I don't know what that is. Um, I think Bill's. Um, he's been traveling and he had a COVID-19 test while he was gone. It is negative, but um, he says he had it out of an abundance of, preca of precautions. But we, we gave him his car keys back very socially distant and I stayed in the house. And my husband stayed six feet away and basically threw the keys at him. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it was good. I talked to him through the window and uh, he's, he should be home by now. So anyway, um, I'm going to head in the house and sit down and watch some YouTube while, you, while the videos I filmed this morning and edited are loading and just relax. And I need some water. I'm like really thirsty. So have some water and a snack and... Maybe go for a walk later and I'll be back. Well, the lighting's kind of bad, huh? Can you tell that it's really bright and sunny out and hot? Um, it is Friday, January, January, holy cow, June 26th, I believe. I think it's the 26th, but I know it's Friday. Um, 
Sorry, I'm backing up. I'm not having a good multitasking day. It's just not, not a good day for that today. I'm blaming it on a corona brain. Saturday morning, June 27th, 11, 26 a.m. Don't get excited, computer, hello. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Hi guys, we're at the ironing board. I'm gonna cut off about five yards of this quarter inch cotton tool tape. And I don't know if you remember, but I have all of this camellia flower water I made a, uh, a few weeks back when I was eco dyeing with camellia flowers and I boiled the rest of the flowers I had and made this sort of pinky red dye. So I wanna take some of this cotton twill tape and soak it in here um, overnight, at least overnight, and see what happens. So I'm gonna take about five yards, maybe a little more, cause there's a lot of water in here. Um, and I'm going to soak it in there and see what happens. I'm gonna add some alum to the dye first, because honestly, I don't remember if I, I don't remember if I did already or not. Um, but the alum will help set the color in the fabric. So, oh, I was gonna say if I can get the lid off. Holy moly! I guess not that way. That doesn't want to come out. Let's try this way. Nope, it's kind of lumpy. Ah. There we go. Put the lid back on. Give it a shake. For God's sake, make sure the lid's on good before you do this. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut off, I've got my yardstick out, which I'll be honest, it took me a few minutes to remember where I put it because I haven't had it out for so long. I have, oops, I have a measuring guide on the, on the art table. So I usually use that. Four, oops. 
five. And if this works, I might also brew up some coffee and try this with some coffee and just soak the ribbon in the coffee. Actually, I can, I'm, I'm gonna do another one too. I can put more than one in there. I need a paper towel. And I, and I have this giant spool of twill tape, so there's plenty. It was very inexpensive on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. So if this works, I might be selling some of this dyed full tape in my Etsy shop, along with um, some fabric scrap packs, for lack of a better term. I've, I've had some on my in my shop already, and they've sold. They may be completely sold out. There may be one. I don't remember, but... Um, they're usually a combination of found and vintage items, things I've dyed, things I've painted. I think this is gonna be one of them if it works. I'm gonna do one more piece. Okay, we're gonna just sit this in a corner and leave it for at least a day, maybe longer. Let it soak up the color from the camellia flowers and then dry it. We'll see what happens. But you're not gonna see what happens this week in this week's vlog. You're gonna have to stay tuned. So you'll have to watch the next vlog. Ha. Huh. So to see my adventures with dyeing the ribbon and whatever else I can figure out to stick in there, you'll have to stay tuned. So that's it for today, and that's kind of a cool picture. That, and I might take a picture for that on Instagram, let people guess what I'm doing. Um, okay, so that's it for today and for this week. It's been a fun one. Uh, it's been a weird one, because you know, a little apocalypse and all. <laughs> But, um, you know, we're still chugging along and we're being creative and we're thinking of new things and I'm having fun doing a lot of stitching. So there's that. Plus getting back into watercolor a little bit. So it's all good. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have a way to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, I sure would appreciate that. Um, there is... Uh, my Etsy shop link, uh, PayPal tip jar. Um, if you want full tutorials on some of the videos that are speed throughs here on YouTube, the full tutorial video is over at Patreon. It's only $2 a month. Um, so you might think about supporting over there. And um, not just for me though, there's a lot of really great creatives on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. And I know they're all looking for ways for you to support them, whether it's buying a piece of art from them through their Etsy shop or, um, taking a class from them, joining their Patreon, something like that. So, you know, if you can't figure out how to support them, check it out, uh, check out their video descriptions, maybe send them an email and ask. Um, and I know they, I know I would appreciate it. I think they would too. So that's it this week. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.